YouTube. We're dead. Do, 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 do. The coolest reviews. The funnest shit. Nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grip's Toy Show Action Inside a Figure Review. I am your host. Ebenezer Middle Store. What the hell are these? Zombies. Chuck, 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 buck, buck, cock, cock, Mattel Zombies. Today we're going to do a brand new dead figure review. It's the most fucked up figures of all time. It's the brand new WWE Mattel Zombies. That Grim just got from WrestlingFigures.com using discount code Grim at checkout to save 10%. I've been dying to review these figures, and I think that it's super exciting that they each come in individual, different bubbles. Look, the Undertaker comes in a casket, and what the hell is Super Cena in? Is it... Oh! It's a phone booth. You know, for when he changes into his Superman costume. Nailed it. This is the bullshit on the back of the box, and each one has a little signature quote back here, but reading is for prisoners. Words are turds. This is his face. Ooh, look at that solid steel tit injury. He ripped his pectoral. <laughs> hey, that's a real-life injury that this son of a bitch suffered. He also looks like the Incredible Hulk instead of Superman. What a waste. Holy got filter fish. It looks like some bitch totally gnawed his arm off. How the hell is he supposed to wave hi to the kids? Oh, wait, Zombie Cena wouldn't do that. He would say, Die, kids! <laughs> The detail on these figures is almost elite quality. As we can see down here, the poor son of a bitch looks like he just crawled out of a toilet. <laughs> Hustle, loyalty, and death. You can't see the diarrhea on his knees. I think that it's really cool that they showed Nikki Bella's claw marks in the bastard's back. <laughs> Rough sex. All right, Dan. And look at his calf muscles. They look like shit-covered moose knuckle. Nailed it. And the next figure we're going to make fun of, I mean review, is Roman Brains. Boo, boo, boo the ghoul. And this is the bullshit on the back of the box. Ooh, that son of a bitch looks pissed after losing to Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank. This is his face. Ooh, look at over here. He's losing an ear. He's doing his Mick Foley impression. Holla if you ear me. His tattoos have something in common with his wrestling skills. They're both green as goose shit. Nailed it. His boots are covered in poo. Actually, wait a minute. I think it's supposed to be mud, motherfucker. <laughs> Too stupid. There is an old industry term for when you don't wrestle fake enough and you hit so hard that they feel it for real. It's called working stiff. So I guess that's why nobody wants to wrestle Zombie Roman, because he's always working stiff. Nailed it times two. Next up is Paige, and I can barely tell the difference between real Paige and zombie Paige. She's pasty as usual, but yet her attitude is so dark, she menstruates motor oil. I bet you there's quite a few necrophiliac fucks out there that wouldn't care if Paige was dead or not. They'd still bang her. This is her face. She obviously went on a purple eyeshadow rampage. Nailed it. Ah, uh, her little panties don't have pockets. Where the hell is she supposed to store her Hot Topic coupons? What a waste. Kind of gross to show a chick with blood running down her legs. Paige is in period mode confirmed. Her boyfriend, Alberto Del Rio, caught her shoving a carrot in her asshole. And then he was like, ah, oh, damn it, I was gonna eat that. But now your ass is gonna taste like a carrot. What a waste. Next up for review, it's Dead Dean Ambrose. Dead Ambrose. Now, this motherfucker is the WWE champion. I think that putting the championship title on Dean was a no-brainer. Lunatic Fringe? More like the Lunatic Cringe. He can't keep his unhinged body together. He's gonna have his dick rolling down the road. This is the brand new dead WWE Champion out of the package. Where the hell's his hand? Hold on. Hold on. What? Holy sheep shit on a shingle. I didn't even realize it was packaged separately. <laughs> hey, everybody. Dean Ambrose is your brand new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> this is his face. Just like Paige, I can barely tell the difference from original Dean. If we were to cremate a dead Dean, do you think that his Jordash jeans would become Jord... Ashes? Okay, fuck you, Ebenezer, that was bad. I don't know why everybody calls Dean Ambrose scrawny. I mean, he has muscles. They're right there. <laughs> and D.A. That ass. With all that fucking filth on his face, he's obviously been doing some dirty deeds. Like kissing Mr. McMuffin's ass to get his hands on that belt. Nailed it. Dirty deeds or dirty jeans? Dirty jeans! Dirty jeans! Dirty jeans! Dirty jeans! I'm guessing now that the rigor mortis has set in, he could just ram people with his penis for a finishing move and call it dirty dildos. Haha, <laughs> nailed it times 12. 
Hmm, I wonder how The Rock died to become a dead man. Maybe he was the most electrocuted man in sports entertainment. Your thoughts? The Rock says, don't wipe your ass with your hands, otherwise you're gonna have shitty fingers. What a waste. This is his face. And now that the dude is dead, he'll be having that people's eyebrow permanently. Too bad he doesn't have any people's pupils. Failed it. His little cousin Roman needed ideas on how to get over in the WWE, so he picked The Rock's brain. <laughs> Holy sweet titty tacos. They wrecked his Brahma bull tattoo and fucked up his forearm. That's bullshit. And speaking of bullshit, this poor bull has to smell what The Rock is cooking because his nostrils are right on his asshole. And speaking of the bull, what about the bull's baby? The calf. The calf has been ripped in half. Failed it. I wonder why Ryback is slapping the rock's ass. Don't you already know what it's like to hit rock bottom? I wonder what it's like to tattoo a dead dude. You just be scribbling around like a doo 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 doo. I'm scribbling all over you, even though you're a dead dude. It looks like some asshole tried to eat his ankles. Luckily, some asshole didn't try to eat his asshole. Well, wait a minute. Here's a dead dude who would definitely dine on The Rock's booty hole. It's Gay Bray Wyatt with a big fucked up knee. Bray Wyatt claims to be the eater of worlds, but now that that dude is dead, he's going to be eaten by worms. Nailed it. This is his face. Ugh, his garbage beard is so fucking infested, even the worms in the grave don't want to eat it. Because you can't eat that. Who in the blue hell does this furry coat fuck think he is? Lady Gaga? <laughs> we should just call him Brain Wyatt. <laughs> Get it? Brain Wyatt? <laughs> hey, I wonder what his favorite kind of shampoo is. Oh yeah, head and shoulders. Nailed it. Somebody ate his knee already. But guess what time they're going to eat his asshole? Eight o'clock. <laughs> These zombie jokes are brutal. The coat comes off this yellow skin, jaundice looking jackass relatively easy, but then his top looks relatively normal, except for a little bit of dirt or blood or whatever the hell that is. Bray Wyatt is bleeding out of his asshole. Hemorrhoids confirmed. This is why chicks on their periods never wear white. Nailed it. Zombie Bray. Zombie Bray. As if he wasn't scary enough already. He'll never stop leading Wyatt Nation because he's got that dedication. Look out. Here comes the zombie Bray. Booster bitch. And while we're on the topic of flamers, coming at you, it's the brand new WWE zombie series, Undertaker with the purple flames. Purple flames. Wasn't this dude dead already? Like, wasn't that the whole premise of his entire fucking gimmick? He's the dead man. Well, the dead man's extra dead now. Yeah, they went all out on the dead man here. He's the only one in this set besides Bray to actually come with accessories. He comes with the purple flames that I can't figure out how to keep on. They're just kind of hanging there. I don't know. Does he hold them? I can't figure out how the fuck they're supposed to fit into his hands. Failed it. This is his face. Being dead don't make this dude stop from licking that pussy. Hey, we want some pussy. Hey, we want some pussy. I think that it's pretty cool that his packaging consisted of a casket, considering his favorite topping on brains is grave -y. <laughs> I told you these zombie jokes were brutal. This is a direct result of fisting Michelle McCool's asshole. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. Look at his fingertips. When The Undertaker lost his streak to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, you know what I said to Brock Lesnar? You're dead to me. But yet they didn't make a zombie figure out of the fuck. What a waste. Hey, Undertaker, Paige called. She wants her purple eyeshadow back, bitch. Hmm, wait a minute. Who wore it better? Your thoughts. You know that The Undertaker's with Michelle McCool now, right? But you know what he did after he dumped his first ex-wife? He wiped his ass. <laughs> Nailed it, times 12. And speaking of ex-ghoul friends, that brings us to Cripple H. Hey, you think if Cripple H was a dead dude when he banged Katie Vick's corpse in a casket, it wouldn't have been as weird? Your thoughts. When he was alive, he was the king of kings. But now that he's dead, or zombified, is he the zombie of zombies? <laughs> I kind of think so. This is his face. Skeletor called. He wants his gimmick back, bitch. Hey, I wonder if this solid steel crown is removable. Yeah, it is. It's just a little rubber crown. And now look, this bitch is as bald as Goldberg. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you want to talk about tearing your quad? <laughs> I wonder if Stephanie McMahon's vagina looks somewhat similar after giving birth to three of Triple H's kids. 
You are thought. Like all the other dudes, he has shit on his shoes. This figure is one of the most detailed, but I still can't get over the fucking face. Son of a bitch looks like he ate a shotgun shell for breakfast. <laughs> or perhaps the beak of beaks just exploded when he tried to blow his nose. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Click this one right here in case you missed something funny. And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow Mala. Nailed it.